so you think your holiday lights look yeah. pretty good. There's a lot of work in this. You should probably let Laura Thake be the judge of that. No gutters. She's no easy critic. Too many dark spots. For the last three years, she has been St. Louis's foremost expert in exterior holiday illumination. That's a really common thing. We see a lot of the garage doors covered. As the creator of HolidayLightHopping.com, which has compiled the best displays of holiday spirit in the area. This is a lot. <laughs> There's already well over a hundred houses on her website online, and nearly every night she heads out with her husband John to see if the latest submission deserves a spot on her map. Yeah, I never thought we would reach a hundred, and now I'm actually thinking we'll probably reach two hundred. <laughs> They'll travel from Collinsville to St. Charles, fluorescent to Herculaneum, to see a new or updated display. Yeah, we don't get to sit around and watch Netflix very often. <laughs> So why do Laura and John travel hundreds of miles a week in their SUV strung with holiday lights of its own for some flashing bulbs matched to Christmas songs? It's making people happy and that's what it's about. So. Frank Blair has one of the more involved front lawns in St. Louis. And the wife, she decorates the inside. Uh-huh. Not quite as bad as I do out here. <laughs> Cars come by and they stop and thank me and little kids get out and they look at it and just like Look at this and look at that. Sometimes even Thake can be surprised by what she sees. I like this little side porch too though. This is cute. A lot of these men do these displays and they spend hours in the off season thinking up a new concept, making it, testing it, putting it together, bringing it out. All right, I think we covered it. And just when she thinks she's seen it all, <laughs> Ditto. a new house catches her eye. How do we get to that one? 